Hello, welcome back to the Synchrolite tutorial videos. In this video we're going to be looking at pixels. For those of you who are new to pixels, pixels are a special light string where every node or LED on the string can be controlled individually. This allows you to change the colour of every single LED on the string. This allows you to produce various effects and patterns within the single string. To control these pixels, you need a special controller, such as our Ethernet pixel controller, and it has eight outputs to allow you to connect several thousand pixel strings or pixel strips. To start using these pixels, you need to first set up a new network for your Ethernet controller. So in the Show Designer, go to the Configuration Editor, and have a look under the network items here. You'll see we've got network one set up here, which is the serial RS485 cable that we set up in previous videos. We need to add another network here now. So you click on the add network at the top and select Synchrolite Ethernet and give this a unique name. We'll just call it network two. And you see now we've got Net2 configured. To create your pixel items, there's several ways of doing this. You see there's a Add Pixel Item tool button up on the Configuration Editor. If you right click, you can add it that way via the pop-up menu there. And also on the Edit menu, there's an Add Pixel Item. You can do any of these ways to access this next screen to add items. So when you click on the pixel item, add pixel item icon, you get this little pop-up window. And this allows you to create different types of pixel items, such as pixel grids, pixel trees, and shapes. In this video, we're just going to be looking at a plain pixel string. So leave the pixel string selected and enter a name. Over on the right hand side it's asking you how many pixels you're going to set up. So in this case we've just got a normal string of 50 pixels. And then down the bottom it's asking for what controller these pixels are on. So you click on the add button, select our new network, and then it's asking for the IP address of our pixel controller. We're going to leave it set up as the default IP address here. And output 1 is the first output on the controller. And then it's asking how many pixels are on that output. So we're going to connect, we're going to say just 50. So you can see now that we've got 50 pixels configured and we've said the number of pixels is 50. So we go on and click OK now. In this screen it's just showing you the configuration for the pixels. So you can see we've just got a single string of pixels going from 1 to 50. We'll see more about how you can use this screen in future videos. But for now, just press OK. Now in the Show Designer, you will see you've now got a display item called String with your 50 pixels in it. As per the other controllers, you can add events manually to each pixel if you so wished. But there is various other facilities in the software to allow you to create patterns which we'll now have a look at. One of the easiest effects to start with is the pattern effect. So select an area on the top grid, right click and select pattern. This gives you various preset patterns that you can select with various options to select the movement and the positioning within the pixel. So here we've got a pattern that's repeated down the strip and moving to the left. 
You can also adjust the speed of it so you can speed it up or slow it down to whatever rate you want. You can also edit these patterns and create your own but for the moment we'll just use this basic cyan white one. So if you click OK you'll see that it's then created that pattern for you. But to see this pattern we need to create a visualization so we can see what it looks like. So if you open up the visualization Again, you may remember from a previous video we went through creating a visualization. So I'll just go through, create a new one again, replace the existing one. And we'll just use this light, basic light string to start with. So we'll just draw a, a light string. Go into select mode go into our item properties and set it to our string. Now because it's a pixel item we need to tick this multi-segment item because the string contains effectively 50, 50 segments, 50 pixels and then click the add all segments and you can see instantly it's gone to uh, white and, and pink and you can see it's it's worked out that the, you've got 50 pixels configured so it has split the string into 50 for you so now if I go into that pattern and play it you'll see it's playing that pattern down those pixels now and if you had your controller connected and have this control lights turned on as we mentioned before then you will get that effect playing out on your pixels so you can see what it looks like on your actual pixels if you so wanted. There's a lot of other effects that can be accessed either via the effects menu or by right clicking and selecting pixel effects from the pop-up menu. Now a lot of these need extra pixel items to really show the effects off so I'll go into the visualization and I'll just quickly create a few other pixel strings so we can see how these effects work. Right, so I've basically now created additional roof sections, left and right sides and two windows, just as a very rough mock-up, so we can see some of these pixel effects. So if I go back to the show designer, now you can access some of these other effects. So if we look at um, like the sweep effect, which basically allows you to sweep from left to right or right to left or top to bottom, um, basically, you select it on the on the on one of the the pixel items, and then you get an option to to include all these other items as well. So I'll just select them all so that it includes all of the pixel items we've just created. Um, and then we're just going to do a a sweep. Um, I'll just include a bit of fading up and down, and we'll do it in say red then click OK and then you'll see it creates the events in all the the different items for you and then if we play that you see we get a gradual sweep across the display if I make the fade in a bit longer fade up and fade down you'll see the events just a little bit longer to make it a little bit clearer on the fade like that. And obviously if you wanted it smaller you can reshuffle it and it'll rebuild and make it smaller so it'll go a little bit faster. So that's the, the basically the sweep effect. You can do left to right as I said 
<clears throat> and you can do um, downwards if you wanted in say green this time so you can go down so that's the basic sweep effect then some of the other effects if we look at a pixel effect say the gradient color gradient now these pixel effects have a a screen sort of preview on the left it's just showing you one <clears throat> one bar there and um, if we go into properties you you can select the colors you can see it's red orange yellow these are just the default colors but you can change the the color in there <clears throat> in the advanced tab like in the sweep effect you've got these additional pixel items so again i'll just select them all so this this effect plays across all of the items rather than just one pixel item and if we click OK and then when we play that you see you get a multicolor effect across the whole display if I go back into that and make the size a little bit bigger so you can see that the colors are a bit bit larger and play see we get larger colors across you see that's going sort of left to right but we can go in and change the direction so if we want it like 45 degrees and we can speed it up a bit so it goes across like that and then when we play that You'll see that's giving a color effect if we didn't want it on the windows then that's easy to do because we just go into the advanced tab and untick the windows and then when you play it you see you've just got the, the outline going so that's a very quick way of, of creating patterns and, and effects across a series of different pixel strings on your display one of the other good effects that you can use is the pinwheel effect. So if you go into pixel effects, pinwheel, go into the advanced tab again and select all the different items. And then you can sort of preview, it gives this sort of pinwheel effect. So that defaults to white and black. We can go in and change the colors to say red and yellow. You can change the number of spokes and the speed there as well so you can get that sort of effect so when you play that and you get a uh, pinwheel effect on the cross your pixel items like that well i hope that's given you a quick introduction to pixels that's it for this time thanks for watching